Hey, Sooner Football fans. This is your Sooner Football Fans podcast. you got Terry and Rob here. Boomer up. Sooner Terry. And we are coming at you from the beautiful Podcast Palace in Norman, Oklahoma. Where we are not affiliated with the University of Oklahoma. But we do have eligibility left. Now, um, we are going to talk about the spring game, but before we get started, I want to tell everybody how dumb I am. Um, we recorded our pre-podcast. It was a good one, too, folks. It was a good one. We're, just saying. We, you know, um, but when I go to edit it, I was like, it, the sound was terrible. And when I looked, you know, then I couldn't edit. And I looked down, and I didn't have our mixing board plugged into the computer, which is why it didn't sound right. And I tried to fix it, but I didn't want to put something out there that sounded that bad. And you couldn't really understand it. So I just went, well. You know, so y'all missed out on the brilliance. That's right. Just so y'all know that everything we said was going to happen in the spring game happened. happened. You know, but we just couldn't put the podcast out. Yeah, it was award winning. I, I award. just promise you it was. Yeah. So, uh, but before again, before we get into the spring game, uh, let's do a little bit of housekeeping. Um, we are going to be having some podcast partners. We're working on some stuff, but you're looking at having folks like uh, the OU Club of Atlanta. Uh, what, what? Um, partnering with them, possibly uh, Demos Smoke Shack, uh, Derek Morton. I can smell the barbecue already, Terry. Yep, 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 yep. Mm. Um, of course, Dan Donnelly and Tailgate Connect, and there's a few other things that we're working on. Who may have the greatest job in the world. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, we hate you, Dan. Die. <laughs> but um, uh, we are starting the podcast back up. Um this is, I guess, our third or fourth season, third season of it. Um, yeah. We took a little bit longer hiatus, and, you know, we won't go into... But it's only because we were lazy. Yeah, pretty much. You know, okay. it's like just, we could... You know, we, we could get could, that defense in there right quick and then yeah, we could we could record a podcast or we could nap. Right? <laughs> so, and, you know, I'm, well, I'm and since we played nap. a lot of golf, yeah, we played napping a, was kind of, yeah. you know, top of oh, the which list Which i got to share something with you about the golfing, you know... Yesterday it was, you know, it finally warmed up about three o'clock, but me <laughs> yeah. and Rob went out and played golf on Saturday, Saturday morning. We were supposed to warm up. Rob actually tried to back out. He said, you know, I think I'm going to skip weather. And I was like, it's supposed to, you know, by, we had a nine forty five tea time by then it'll be warm. Yeah. It still wasn't warm by noon. It was cold. But, and I hate you too, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> and it was wet. And Teresa was like, you're going to go play golf in this? Uh, yeah. And I was like, yeah, you know, honey, when I go on the tour, you know, they don't take days off like That's this. That's right. She was right out there beside Bryson. Yeah. She goes, tour. I was like, yeah, the pro tour. And she goes, but you're not pro and you're not going to be. And I'm like, really? <laughs> Thanks for the support there, dear. <laughs> she just, you know, stabbed my dreams in the heart. <laughs> well, here's the thing, Terry. Um, you hit your driver about as far as Bryson hits his wedge. Uh, well, true, you know. So. But see, I'm not talking about the PGA Tour. I'm talking about the Champions Tour. Oh, oh, oh. you know, they, I, I don't like them calling it the Champions Tour. I think they should call it the Seniors Tour, like it well, is, because yeah. that, you know, that's my goal is if I can get on the Champions Tour. Well, that'd be sweet. Yeah, you know. So uh, even though I'm not a champion, but you know, I mean, look at us. You know, we can't play football anymore. We're too mm-hmm. old. We're too old to play baseball. You, you sure about that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Just, I just want to make, you know, double do sure. Have, we, Thanks for killing my dream, Terry. You know, we, we do have eligibility left. If Lincoln asked us to, I would, you, you'd go, I, I would go, you know, so, you know, we could go ahead and just say goodbye yeah. because you wouldn't come back. <laughs> you wouldn't come back. Exactly. <laughs> you know, we're, we're too old to play baseball anymore. Hmm. So the only dream that I have of professional sports is the senior PGA tour. Listen, you can change your name to Teresa <laughs> and go play women's volleyball or something i'm just saying it's happening well you know i'm short and you know oh they still better than you (laughs) (laughs) okay (laughs) so but you know here you know here i am thinking you know maybe in you know by if i can get on the senior pga by the you know or champions tour by the time i'm 58 that's like five years Mm -hmm. i got five years to get better to you could do it terry but no apparently i can't because my wife tree said no well no she said basically you don't have the ability <laughs> nor will you ever have the ability well hmm. yeah it was like you know i can't skip days you know honey they put you know when i go on tour i'll have to play in conditions like this tour 
what what tour you know pro tour you're not pro and you're not going to go pro i'm like wow <laughs> well i'm not now thank you very much <laughs> God. so uh, but that's the only hope for professional sports you and i have left is mm-hmm. the pga well we've been, we better tour. hold on to that dream then yeah so uh, no i did saw a, th- a thing on that or did saw i did see a uh deal on the golf channel one day this guy our age in mid 50s got a golf scholarship I bet that was fun playing with a bunch of eighteen year olds. He went he went back to college and he was out one day on the course. It was a small college and you know, playing golf and the golf team was out there practicing Hmm. and the coach started talking to him and he said, Well, yeah, I'm a student. He was like the coach went, Hey, you wanna play on so he walked on and ended up getting a scholarship. Wow. <laughs> he, never, he had eligibility you left. Talk about being at the right place at the right time, Terry. <laughs> right? How come that ever happens to us? Know, exactly. You know. Well, maybe it has, and they were just like, I'm not saying yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, anyway, uh, let's talk a little spring football in Oklahoma. Let's do it. Um, and I said, I've never been a big spring fan you know, it's it's fun for the fans and everything. What, you don't like football? Oh, I love football. Oh, you don't like yeah. the Sooners? No, oh, I love the Sooners. Huh. But it's just like, you know, it's spring football. You saw my intensity during the spring game. What <laughs> yeah. happened with five minutes left in the spring game? I had to wake Terry up. <laughs> it's embarrassing, y'all. I can't take him anywhere. I swear. I'm like, Terry, wake up. We're still playing football here. Mm. It, it, it had just gotten to the point of, yep. You know, <laughs> leaned over on or leaned over on my, you know, put my chin on my. Well, I mean, we at at that point we had already seen what we were going yeah. to see, and from that point on we were like, well, who's that? Who's, who's that? that? <laughs> I don't know who that is. You know, so so um here here's uh I think our takes we can just kind of throw them out there that you know defense really good, got a lot of good defensive players, and I'm just gonna say it, Caleb Williams. Caleb Williams. Caleb Williams. Three times four. Three. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you, yeah. Now, our good friend, the lovely Sooner Lisa, who, you know, we talked about on the podcast that we didn't put out, has talked to me while I'm naked. Uh-huh. Uh, yep. <laughs> but uh, Just let your minds go where they may on yeah, that one, folks. There you go. But, you know, Lisa kind of, you know, tweeted out, you know, quarterback controversy and people kind of she's like i'm just kidding for crying out loud people everybody has real thin skin of course when it comes to the sooners but i'm not saying there's a quarterback controversy don't believe there is right we said this in our pregame that didn't get published but but i'm telling you right now rob and i think you agree with me if you don't think there's a quarterback battle going on at ou right now you are out of your damn minds right no there there's not a controversy spencer radler is your starter right but I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> Caleb Williams is knocking on the door. Caleb, it is a battle. There is, uh, you know, and I believe this. Lincoln has always said it, and it's coach speak and everything else, but the best players will play. If Caleb Williams continues, if he gets better from what he did on Saturday, yep. I, you know, I'm just telling you, man. That Well, I think before he would jump Spencer, Spencer would have to look bad. Yeah. And he's not going to do that. Yeah. I, I mean, he didn't look great in the spring game, but come on, it's a spring game. Yeah. You, you get him out there in the real deal, he's going to be good. You know mm-hmm. he is. He's the best quarterback in the in the country. Yeah. Unless Caleb Williams is better. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, he'd really have to play bad. Yeah. To, uh, well, yeah. but here's my point. You know, we talked about it during, the, you know, Okay, you know, oh, did, get him in the kneecap. Yeah, got around the kneecap. <laughs> watching some baseball. That didn't hurt. It yeah. feel good. <laughs> but uh, if you don't think there's a battle, here is why there's a quarterback battle. You have the two out of the three top three quarterbacks in the country in the last three years on the same campus. Okay. And Spencer Rattler is the heir apparent. He's the returning starter. It's his job to lose. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and it's not gonna. He's not gonna lose it lightly, like right. I say. But if something happens, like what happened last year during the Texas game, he turned the ball over a couple of times, and Lincoln benches him. It ain't Tanner Mordecai coming out of, oh, onto the game. It's Caleb Williams, no. <laughs> Tanner Schaefer. Or, yeah. But I'm gonna tell you something. Hey, that kid from Michigan, not yeah, bad, not bad, not bad at all. But Caleb Williams is bigger, faster, stronger. I thought he threw the ball a lot better. Better leader, from what I hear. And, I mean, 
Spencer, to me, under, he underthrew a lot of those deep throws. He certainly did. You know, I don't know. Almost if, every one of them. Yeah. To be I don't know if it's, you know, we can talk about timing and everything. Hey, throw that out. You've been in spring practice for, what, a month? Yeah. You well, should have worked I mean, out your timing. out the bugs. And like I say, uh, Spencer's going to play well. Yeah. I mean, there's just no doubt about yeah. it. He's that good. Um, but that good. But Spencer Rattler, 6 of 14, 116 yards. Caleb Williams, 10, and 10 of 11, 99 yards. Uh, let's see, Caleb Williams. The Damn. leading rusher, six for 61 yards. He's quick. Um, He's exciting. And Spencer Rattler had one rush for negative three yards. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I'm not saying there's a controversy. There is no controversy. But there is a battle going there's on in battle. Norman. Got to be. If if Lincoln is true to his word, which we believe him to be. Yeah. Right? Right. He will play the best guy. Yeah. And if it's, if it's staggering, I think you'll see Caleb Williams out there. Yeah. I mean, I could be way off base. And there's probably some people out there right now telling me you're way off base. And no, I get that. No, I could be. I, I, hey, I'm just telling, you know, personally, personally, and this sounds like I'm taking a, you know, a stab at maybe Spencer, or, and I'm not. I like Spencer. Um, but It's uh, it's Baker that you hate. Yeah, it's Baker that I hate. <laughs> um, but, no, it is actually um, – <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice if Caleb Williams did beat him out? Because you got a freshman come in and beat out a quote the leading Heisman candidate, right. which to me is bull crap. You can't put a leading Heisman candidate out in March and April, but yeah. they got to have something to talk about. Right. But if he does that, Terry, he he's going to be special. Yeah. I mean, we're already saying that about Spencer. Well, I mean, let's, so if Spencer's special, let's look at uh, where we know it's happened. You know, our good buddy um, Jalen Hurts. Right. National championship game gets benched for Tua Tugboda-Lova. Right. Um, as a freshman. Was he not a freshman? I'm pretty sure year? you nailed his last name. Yeah, I know. It's, how'd they tell us how to pronounce it? Tua, Valo- Tua, Tua Valoa. Or something like that. I don't know. I think you got it right the first time. <laughs> Tugboda-Lova. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we can go back to Clemson. And the guy who's going to be the number one uh, uh, draft pick this year, um, what's her name? Just the quarterback from Clemson. Yeah, I forget. She's pretty. <laughs> uh, but, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I can't think of his name either. It doesn't really matter. But came He's in. Pretty good quarterback, I think. And bump, knocked the starter off. Right. Okay. So it's it's not that it can't be done. No, it can be. But, but like I say here, I think it, he, I think he not only would really Caleb good. Williams have to continue to play like he is, but Spencer would have to really struggle. Well, I mean, again, you said it on the podcast that we didn't release. What was it that you'd heard that he is a year ahead of where they expected him to yes. be at this point in time? Yep, he is a year ahead of where they expect his development to be. But that's just the small side of it. They're talking about his leadership capabilities and that the team is really kind of already behind him yeah. as the leader of this football yeah. team. So I'm not saying there's a controversy, folks, but there is a battle. No controversy, a battle. Well, either one of them that's in there, Terry, we're loaded up in, on the offense. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, we've got some special kids in there right now that, that we may see a true freshman start in the backfield. Oh, yeah. And do, we we may have some true freshmen starting on defense. We may, we certainly may. Billy Bowman's Billy Bowman, the first one that comes to mind. <laughs> He's a special kid, and uh, I mean, I think the freshmen came, that came in this year maybe better than the ones that came in last year yeah. with the you know the Hazelwoods and the you know Theo Weiss and all those guys. Yeah, Mar- Mario Williams. I mean, five passes for eighty four yards, four three flat. Is that what you're hearing? Yeah, four three flat. Yeah. I and he's got the jukes. I can't do a four three flat. Rob on a forty-five degree incline, yeah, downhill. I, I may be able to roll that fast, Terry, but <laughs> I think somebody would have to give me a good push. <laughs> um, you know, I mean, there's talk. I mean, he he is right now the buzz of the offense. Yeah, yeah, he is. So, well, with who, Caleb or Mario? Mario. Hmm. So Caleb, Mario, and then the kid in the backfield, Eric Gray. Eric Gray. I'm telling you, they're the, gonna be good. The uh, the transfer from Tennessee. Tennessee transfer. We got two of them. Yeah. One's an offensive lineman. 
but Eric Gray put the moves on a freshman to score a touchdown. Oh, broke his ankles. <laughs> so yeah, my ankles were hurting after that play. Yeah, too. and, and <clears throat> again, you know, Lincoln said, you know, this kid he he's ready to come in here and play right now. Oh, I yeah. mean, uh, thank you, Tennessee, you dummies. So I read an interesting art article, Terry, around Uh-oh. the subject. You still read? A little bit, every now and then. <laughs> if You know, if, if, they, if Hooked on Phonics is working right. <laughs> so uh, the difference between a four-star and a five-star kid, right? The, the four-star kids may be as, as, as much athletic as the five-star kids. Five-star kids get that fifth star because they are expected, Terry, not to come in and redshirt, but to come in and contribute right. immediately. Right. So a four star kid may may still red shirt. He may play depending on the team. You know, probably at a, at a uh, Oklahoma or Alabama or Ohio State. You know, four star kids may or may not play. Right. Five star kids are expected to come in and get PT. They're they're expected that first year to go ahead and just be playing. Right. So and I think we got several of those right now. Yeah. Well, and you know, also the star system, and you know, we've talked to James Hill uh, about this, and um. Um, I just went blank. Can't think of our other. I can see his face from twenty four seven sports. Um, gosh, sorry, man. Brandon Drum. Yeah, Drum. Mm. Uh, as said, a lot of times the fifth star is because Oklahoma. Oh yeah. Became interested, or Alabama, or Alabama became or interested. Yeah. They were okay. One of the blue buds. Yeah, the big guys want this kid. So now he went from four to five. Four to five because right. he may not be able to play at Oklahoma yet. But everywhere else he goes, he's going to start. That's that's true. A lot of times the theory with that fifth star is... And that's a good problem for us to have. Yeah. Right? You know, which is why I have no stars next to my No, no uh, half a star. Half a star, Terry. Yeah, Come on. Star. You're well, breathing. That's half hey, a star. We did talk to Bob Stoops Thursday night. We did talk to Bob Stoops. He yes, didn't try did. to recruit us, <laughs> but we're pretty sure he was going to. Yeah. I mean, you know, if everybody else in the room wouldn't have came around, if we went and, went and got our friends to say mm-hmm. hi to Bob, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. you know, he... But <clears throat> literally, folks, seriously, it wasn't like, hey, Bob, da 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 da. Bob stood there and talked to us for like three or four minutes before we asked him, for, you know, to get a picture with Coolest the group. dude. He's he's a lot like, I remember, you know, Barry. Yeah. You know, if you catch Barry out, he'll talk hey, to okay. you. Okay. Huh. You, you said it like Barry's dead. No, he goes, no. you, you said you remember Barry. All right, all right. My bad. Back up. Barry is still alive. And Barry's, he's never going to die. Yeah. Right? Barry's not ever going to die. But he's real personable, too. Oh, yeah. we, we caught him out there at uh, OU Golf Course one time and was like, Coach, oh, my God. He's like, hey, gentlemen, y'all hitting them straight? And we're like, hell no. <laughs> you know, he's like, neither well, are That's, a, you know, that, that's, you know, Bob, you know, Rob saw him first. We, we, we were at Louis on Thursday night having some dinner, but me and Rob went into the bar area because I am a smoker. And had we were having a cigarette, and Rob just looks up and goes, "Hey, coach!" And I turn, and you know, Bob, you know, Bob was walking by. Hey, coach! I said, "Hey, coach!" And he goes, "Hey, fellas, how you doing?" He stopped dead in his tracks, <laughs> stopped dead, <laughs> and stood there and started talking yeah. to. How's us. your day going? <laughs> yeah. Hey, I just nailed that. I did know, you, hear you it? did. You did. <laughs> and uh, All right. what are y'all doing? <laughs> <laughs> you know. Um, he remembered us from the Rose Bowl. Yep. The UCLA Well, how game. could he forget us? Uh, I know. I mean, I mean he, exactly. Right. It was like, yeah, I remember you guys. Photobombed us. Yeah. Photobombed us at the Rose Bowl. Yep. And I said, that was I, cool. That and was I cool. asked him, I said, well, would you mind taking over the picture? We have some friends here from, from out of state for the game. He goes, sure. Best part of the whole conversation was what he said at that point. Wait for it. Let me go take a whiz first. <laughs> Bob Stoops told me and Rob to yep. wait for him to take a whiz. And then he came right back. Right. <laughs> I was like, oh, he's going to ditch us. <laughs> he came right back. Came right back. Shook everybody's hand. Yeah. Right? Everybody that was there. Yep. How you doing? How you yep. doing? How, there, hit it again, Rob. <laughs> and, uh, but, hell of a nice guy. Oh, you know? super, super, super. And you know who nice wasn't guy. there? Uh, No. Sooner Lisa. Lisa wasn't there, uh-huh. though she was invited. She was invited. She wasn't was she? invited. Yeah. She just doesn't like us very much. Yeah, apparently she? not. Huh. But uh, did you rub that in on her? I sent her a picture a couple of times. Yeah, yeah. We should call her and say, "Hey, Sooner Lisa." Ooh, we should. <laughs> no, let's not do that. Yeah, she hates you. Let's try to more. She does. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, we pick on Sooner Lisa because uh, she hates us and we love her, but we don't know why. And it's big fun. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. 
and, and to see her face in in person when you get her really good, you know, mm-hmm. it, that shock look, you know, the jaw drops, <gasps> you know, she was mad at us during the spring game because we met Bob Stoops and she didn't. Right. <laughs> and we reminded her a couple of times. <laughs> and then Caleb came in and reminded her. Well, so. that was fun. But uh, anyway, we'll stop on soon or just get back on to the, uh, on to the game. <laughs> Did you like the spring game format that they did this year? Uh, I offense, don't. Those of you who didn't see it, offense versus defense. There was it wasn't a real game. It was a it was a literal squad scrimmage. Yeah, and it was you know the defense was up twenty one to nothing before the game ever kicked off. Right. I mean, I don't know, Terry. I didn't really like it or dislike it. I mean, it is what it is. I'm not there because of the score, and, and nobody else is. Yeah. There. You know, we're obviously the the. The people like us that are just interested in seeing these guys, you know, we're, we want to see Mario William, Williams turn on the, the Jets and, right. you know, all that business. <clears throat> That's what, <clears throat> for us, it's about. And the score mattered not or the format. Right. No, that really mattered. I think it was good just, you know, just to give us a little bit of football. Yeah. Don't you? Yeah. You know, and, and I didn't mind the format either. You know, you know, I went and saw the Steelers – uh, during their training camp one year. Yep. And I, I honestly would like to see the spring game. Kind of, they, the Steelers, at the end of their practice, they ran situational football. They basically started at the 50. They ran like 10 plays, and then they moved up to like the 35, ran like 10 plays, and it was ones-on-ones. I mean, they were popping each other uh-huh. out there. And then they got down in the, you know inside the 10. I kind of like that. This was – similar to that i mean it was you know the the i don't know why they kept kicking off and that that didn't make any sense there was no kickoff coverage or yeah they just wanted everybody to you know to fit yeah fit in their spots and and get used to running out there when they're supposed to do that kind of thing but yeah but you know like i said that you know the defense i, I think the offense cheated uh to win the game oh uh, a because they, well they took points off the board well, yeah, but they gave them points that they weren't supposed to. Well, did they though? Well, that's what Toby said, and yeah. you know Toby don't ever lie. Yeah, but they, but even Toby said that's what he was told. <laughs> okay, I was told they okay. got points so, they shouldn't. So we have. got a government conspiracy here, folks. Yeah, you know that that Lincoln's offense was getting its tail kicked at that point in time, and they took nine points off the board. You know what? I felt like that was a good thing. Yeah, if the defense can hold our offense, I mean, I want to look at that as. That's a good thing. Yeah. The defense is good. Yeah. Because well, we know I the mean, offense is going to be good. I mean, we know for, it. for what, four or five years now, we've sat here and, and went, you know, we've thought, you know, well, our defense doesn't do as good against our offense because we got the greatest offense in, in the history of the world, yada, yada, yada. And I think we still do maybe have a great well, offense. Don't, don't let don't let the LSU people hear you say that. But you, you, see, you know what I'm saying? I mean, we've seen like – well, guy, you know, the reason why our defense looks so bad at the spring game or on the videos from practice, all these passes, is because it's a great offense. It's a great offense. Well, now all of a sudden we got this defense out there that's shutting down the running game, shutting down the passing game. Um, I mean, let's face it, the first two series, Spencer was out there. He didn't do yeah, that, that, and that was the first unit. It looked bad a little bit. They, they, they – you know what I like to see about that defense is you remember when we, we were like, oh, we got all the speed, but they're overrunning plays, yeah. and that opened up big gash and they're holes. They're extremely and disciplined. They're, they're disciplined. They're where they're supposed to be, and they're making tackles. I mean, yeah. you know, spring game, you didn't you didn't see a ton of that stuff. There was a couple of pops out there. There, there. were some pops out there. But, uh, man, I, all, the, all the young guys look good. I mean, you know, we didn't see, like, Kennedy, he wasn't running yeah. hard or anything. But, okay, uh, just just on this baseball game, for one, I love the Padres jerseys. You like the old Browns? Oh, I love the old Browns. That's the old eighty Browns right there, I think. But is there anybody with redder hair than May? That what redder dude, hair and white skin? That <laughs> dude is Carrot Top's brother, right? <laughs> oh. Anyway, now, speaking of that yesterday, me and Lisa were watching a baseball game before. Yeah, and uh, there was a dude. I can't remember who was playing. Oh, 99 mile an hour yeah. slider. Oh, that was nasty. Gosh, I can't remember what game we were watching. But anyway, this pitcher, and I can't remember who the pitcher was, but he, uh, to end the game, he threw a 101 mile an hour fastball Ooh. for a strike, 
just blew it past him. And then through like a 91 mile an hour curve that broke like nine miles. Oh my gosh. Just, and the, it, the announcers were like, good Lord. <laughs> that is nasty. It's like Kershaw kind of. Yeah. Kershaw-esque. When the Astros aren't cheating, that is. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. Put that in there. Um, but no, I do. I, I like it. You know, this is like watching it when we were kids. You know, the Padres, you know, the Dodgers uniforms haven't changed. No, not really. No. Nope. And, um, you know, the Padres are out there, uh, which I'm sure uh, Steve Bullard loves that. I don't know how a guy from Oklahoma is a Padres fan, but well, I don't I mean, think he's a California boy. I'm just a fan of baseball. Oh, I, mean, I am Obviously, too. I, I kind of claim the Rangers and the American and the Braves and the National, but that's all I could see growing up. Did you see that curveball there? That was nasty. But uh, I'm just a fan of all of them. Yeah. You know, all of them. I like, I like them all, really, except for the Houston Astros. Yeah. I hate the Houston Astros. Yeah. They should go kill themselves. <laughs> wow, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe that's a little bit much. A little bit much. Um, but um, – yeah, I am too. I, I can sit down and watch baseball. It's like golf. I can sit down and watch golf, you know, anytime. Yeah. And there's a lot of people that are like, I didn't know people watched golf. Well, duh. <laughs> it's on TV. <laughs> <laughs> no, people watch golf. People don't watch the WNBA. No, right. <laughs> yeah, I told somebody today, if you catch me watching like, the WNBA or something like that, you know, women's volleyball. Well, yeah, uh, women's volleyball. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> Uh, it's time for an intervention. <laughs> bowling. I think bowling. Yeah, bowling. bowling. If you catch me watching bowling, it's time for an intervention. Now, back in the day, Rob, come on. ABC's Wild World, Wide World of Sports on Saturdays yeah. used to have the pro. Bo- Y'all didn't watch bowling, does it? No. Oh, no. Wow. The only way I'd watch it is if Woody Harrelson was bowling <laughs> and Bill Murray. <laughs> Bill Murray, who wouldn't watch that, right? right? But, no, I used to, you know, on wide, ABC's Wide World of Sports, they'd have bowling. They would have curling. What else would they show on that? They, they, they have ski deep, jumping and all deep sea stuff. fishing. Yeah, I probably wouldn't watch that. No. Yeah. Um, yeah, watching somebody else fish is also something yeah, I can't do. No, can't do it. Yeah, no. But I can watch OU spring football. Yes. And be entertained. Man, way to go, Rob. Way to <laughs> did you see how I did that? that thing right back like around. Like a pro. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so who, who were you most impressed by? Don't say Caleb Williams. Outside of Caleb Williams, because I'm telling you, nobody impressed me more than Caleb Williams. So <laughs> Caleb Williams is my. I said, don't say Caleb Williams. Okay, but I said outside of Caleb Williams. Okay, outside of Caleb Williams, who impressed? Me? Oh, I'm me to look through. I'm looking through the because de- the defense. How about that back that we didn't know who he was? Knowles. He looked pretty solid. He looked pretty solid. Of course, Eric Gray. You know, we knew he was going to look good, but. Uh, there was a receiver. What was his? Uh, uh, Kevin Sumlin's son. Uh, Sumlin? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's his name. <laughs> yeah, I don't know his first name, but his, his last name is obviously Sumlin. Yeah. He looked pretty good. Yeah. I wonder why he came here instead of went and going to A&M. Sumlin hadn't been at A&M for like four years, Rob. Oh, I know, but he grew up. I mean, obviously his dad coaching at A&M. Yeah. You'd just think he'd be a fan. I'm looking for him here. Of course, you know, we are the Sooners, so. And, you know, the national championships we got up were not like the ones that A&M's got up. <laughs> I'm just True. saying. True. A&M fans, you cracked me up. How do you spell Sumlin? I'm looking for him here on the roster. Oh, there he is. Jackson. Jackson Sumlin. He's a tight end H-back. He's an H-back, yeah. No. Yeah, they're going to play him at tight end? I didn't think he's big enough to play tight end. Uh, let me find him again. I'm going to have to hit the uh, – he didn't look the zoom on my. <laughs> he didn't look about over six foot tall. Uh, Sumlin, six foot two, two hundred and seven pounds. He's not very. That's not a tight end. Not very meaty. I mean, Mikey Henderson's bigger and, and heavier than that. Of course, he you know obviously he's not a freshman anymore. But yeah. <clears throat> um, that's another thing. We didn't see any tight ends catch the ball, did we? Not really. Uh, we did get to see Stocker out there, which was really Jordan Mukes. Yeah, freshman. Safety. Oh, yeah, he did well. Yeah. Uh, six tackles. He led the team with tackles. Um, I, I'm not worried about, at all. I was I was kind of worried, Terry, about the uh, the backfield, to be honest with you, the running backs. Because we, like we were trying to say, or, you know, we did say in the uh, 
the pre spring game podcast that didn't get published. We don't know what Kennedy Brooks is going to be like. He set out a year, yeah, and he was not able to work out with the team, yeah, and so he he really he didn't do much Saturday. I mean, and then we pretty sure we lost. Uh, what's nuts? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, you know, the guy that was with the receiver, the other back, Kate McGowan. Oh, McGowan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we lost him, so that kind of left the backfield a little. Yeah, a little in dry. Question. But uh, with the addition of Eric Gray and now this Knowles kid that's come on. Yeah. And, you know, Kennedy's back. Hopefully he's going to be as good as he was when he left. Yeah. The backfield's going to be strong. Yeah, Jaden Knowles had three carries for 31 yards. And he looked good doing it, though. Yeah. You know? Looked good doing it, so. Now Kennedy Brooks had two carries for eight. <clears throat> Marcus Major, three for seven. Mikey Henderson, five for minus three. Yeesh. Uh, but yeah. Henderson had a couple of good runs, I guess. I think um, – now, one thing Omario is going to have to do um, on that little uh, reverse, he's got to catch that little – Oh, yeah. You know, well, that, freshman jitters, you got to mark yeah. that one up. And then didn't one guy get tackled by the turf monster? Yep. So, yeah, those are just – that's just freshman stuff. They're going to, you know, they're going to work that out. But just think about, you know, Hazelwood out, you know, at the, at the Y and um, – uh, <laughs> okay, I just I was like, not the YMCA, was, yeah. Gary. <laughs> That's what first came to mind. I was like, what the hell are you, where are you going with this, Rob? When was Hazelwood at about, the Y? I'm at talking the about y the wide back. receivers. <laughs> you know, Mims is moving into the slot. He's yeah. going to be deadly there. Yeah. I mean, that is going to work out And so Williams, nice. Williams is going to be a slot. I mean, I'm just telling you, Terry, we're going to be, we're going to be pretty good. We may go no tight end for a while. What do you think? Uh, I don't. Well, you know, so Stog- much talent. The wide well, spot. but Stogner, Stogner is a lot like uh, uh, Mark. Uh, Mark, what's his name? Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa's yelling at our at the podcast right, right now, and several other people are Mark. Mark, It'll come to us. Uh, or, 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 Andrews. Andrews. That is, yeah. <laughs> Mark Andrews. I know too many people named Mark. You know that he's he's that athletic. He is that athletic. So <clears throat> and he can block. Yeah, and, so. and and Stogner, I think you'll see him. You know, he's six six, two hundred and fifty five pounds. I mean, you can't have that guy not on the field. And I think he can run, Terry. I don't. Yeah. I don't remember what his. Well, he has were. two legs. So well, <laughs> well, he's got at least one and a half. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how. I guess the other thing is healed up, or they wouldn't let him. Okay, here's a name that I've never seen they wouldn't before. Let him on the field, he's a freshman, a redshirt fr- freshman, but he's got a cool name, Ben Tawater. Tawater. T a w w a t e r. All right. He's a six three, three hundred and one pound offensive lineman. You know, we didn't get to see Woody Washington. Uh, yeah, he was out, wasn't he? Yeah, I think Deshaun White didn't play either. Did no, he? No, he played. Did he? Um, I know that they had uh, quite a few guys that didn't, um, you know, that we didn't get to see. I think maybe some of them only got like one series though. Cause yeah. I don't remember seeing Benito out there a bunch, you know, they get a lot of talent at linebacker. They, I'm sure they needed time to look it over. Yeah. You know, I am going to request that we get some, uh, um, uh, some special teams, some kicker guys that names are. Easier to pronounce. <laughs> Pronounceable you kickers. Know, yeah, Gabe Burkick, B R K I C. Hey, could you imagine being, you know, learning how to write your name and the teacher's going. There's like no vowels. Yeah. In there. What's going on here? <laughs> it's like B R K C K Y or Z something. And, and then, our, you know, our punter is Reeves Munchow. Yeah. Now, Reed, yeah. Who was the kicker that got kicked out of the, kicked out of the, team last year that oh. he was a starter and burke yeah he got um he got kicked off team for getting arrested didn't he i can't remember yeah he's um allegedly smacked his girlfriend around. oh well, he needed it then yeah no um but yeah he got arrested and i think he got charged i can't think of his name you know on our uh, twitter somebody said uh you know, Bob is stalking us. Yeah. And, then, and I think it might have been Nathan that said, I think he's trying to, you know, get, get on, on the, the podcast. podcast. Yeah. You know. So, you know, we might have to go ahead and just let him on here. Terry, yeah. See, you, you know, we're, we're, you know. we're, you know, we do, you know, there's only certain people we let on. We'll have to have a discussion. We'll have to, or not yeah. We'll have to think have, that one over. 
have Bob on or not. Yeah. You know. I mean, if he brings us some tequila, <laughs> I mean, he's got a good shot. Wouldn't you say? Yeah. I mean, just saying, you know, tequila yeah. always makes her clothes. I mean, everything's better. <laughs> <laughs> um, but here's one thing I heard um, about the, the spring game um, was that uh, players were handing out uh, their gloves. Oh, yeah, I did hear that. Yeah. yeah. And did you hear what happened? Uh-uh. Uh, the university started getting oh, them yeah. back from the fans because that's a violation. That is a violation. That is a violation. They said that the, some of the guys on the side were like, hey, give those back. You got to give them back. They could be ineligible if you're in there like, what? You know, people got upset. And then the players, were, you know, they had to tell the players, hey, stop doing that. You can't give that stuff away. You cannot. You cannot give the University of Oklahoma stuff that was given to you away. Right. That is a – If they had some that they bought personally, then, right. yeah. Okay, yeah. I remember when Rhett was a small child and we were there, and Stucker McDougal came over and was trying to toss Rhett one of his gloves, and a little punk kid in front of him jumped and got it. And just so slapped the punk kid? Well, I should have. But, <clears throat> I mean, you know, I, I ain't got nothing but props for him for, you know, getting about, you know – Three foot off the ground to grab that glove. You know, Red was just a little bitty <laughs> yeah. guy, so yeah, you know, it didn't bother Red, but that kid was you know ten or eleven or something like that. Yeah, or so. but yeah, um, you know, a lot of people don't realize they cannot give the, you know, and you know, nowadays, you know, you can't give that stuff away. It's branded. It's yeah. you know, um, now when they graduate, they do with what do with it what they want. They can sign it, sell it, but they're not you know. But apparently, they were handing it out to the crowd and some Oklahoma officials. That's unfortunate. I mean, that's just a nice gesture from those yeah. players because all those kids around there are just dying to, you know, yeah. see, you know. And some of the girls, by the way, you know, I'm not looking at anybody in particular sooner, Lisa, but. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, um, yeah, I mean, it, it is unfortunate, but the, I mean, that's the, you know, that's the, uh, you know, the world we live in, you know, uh, the Sooners are policing themselves. And got to keep that stuff from happening. Well, I mean, I get it. I get it. I mean, Jordan gear is, you know, it's not cheap. So, yeah, it's not cheap. You know, the, of course, the university, I don't think, is, <laughs> you know, pu- buying it. But they could be. I don't know. Do you, still, you know what I still fear about the Jordan brand? What's that? Is at some point in time, the Jordan brand's going to want the Jordan logo on our football field. Ooh. Yeah, you could probably get it. As long as they don't put it on the helmet, they can put it somewhere on the field. No, that would look terrible. It's a football field. It's not a basketball court. I know, but you know what? The the recruits love it. So, yeah. I mean, if you want to put it down in the end zone somewhere, I wouldn't have a problem with that. But I definitely do not want it on the helmet. The only thing that goes on the helmet is the interlocking O and U. Yeah. Okay. And the the opposing player's paint off of his. That's, That's the only thing right. that goes on the on a. And blood. Blood. <laughs> but um, Preferably not mine. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's something I hope never happens. But, you know, I, I got a feeling that at some point in time we're going to see it on the court. And, you know, they'll work out a deal to where, you know, the university gets X amount of dollars for now, it, I'm it, sure. Would it bother you to see it on the basketball court? No, because it's basketball. Okay. So it's just a matter of it being the sport. It would bother me to see it on the baseball field, too. Okay. Softball. Soft. Speaking of softball, I mean, what the hell? They, mean, they 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 just they just won, you know, a three game series with Tech. With Tech. It was apparently not very good. Forty to nothing. Right over three games. <laughs> Forty to nothing. Not one run. No. They scored eighteen runs today in one inning, Rob. They're okay. pretty good. The, why, I mean, why did Texas Tech even show up today after yesterday's? Well, that's a good. That's a good question. I yeah. think they probably had to, but <laughs> they probably weren't looking forward to it. <laughs> let's see. They beat his eighteen to nothing yesterday. Oh, gee. Let's they, run we, back up to the football or the was, softball field. I think it was. Uh, I think it was fifteen to nothing and five to nothing and twenty to nothing today. Mm, mm. Good Lord. Yeah, that's just nasty. Yeah. Did we break some kind of records today? Because I know that several of them are pretty close to some. Well, I I think we broke the record for run scored in a single inning. Okay. You know, 18. 18? (laughs) 18. 18. (laughs) I don't know if I've ever seen a T-ball team get 
you know, mercy ruled, you know, um, which have you noticed that with Oklahoma, you know, it, it the term now is mercy rule. It's not run rule right, because right. run rule sounded too mean. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But now they are saying it on that Oklahoma run ruled teams now, even nationally. I was saw something because I think saying mercy rule <laughs> it just it's just not good it is it's worse than saying run rule in my opinion you know oklahoma mercy ruled nine teams you know in the last three days so two 18 runs in one inning that's batting around at least 2.3 times right mm-hmm. so everybody hit <laughs> twice and three people hit three times yeah in one inning <laughs> I, I gotta pull. I, I gotta find stats. I mean, it, what? It's a minimum of two point three and a maximum of two point <laughs> six. Is that right? Gotta be. Uh, yeah. Um, let me find softball. Gotta be a max. Yeah, I'm. I'm right. Boy, I, look at me with the maths. <laughs> I got both both hands out, so I, I count them up both both fingers. So there. <clears throat> That's good. I'm telling you, it's two point three and two point six, uh-huh. minimum and maximum. Could have been two point four, could have been two point five, but it's a minimum of two point three. Okay, I'm gonna look at the <laughs> I mean and how many home runs okay. were hit in that <laughs> time span? That's that's a good question. Um, so I, oh my gosh. <laughs> End of the first, Oklahoma was winning two to nothing. End of the second, still two to nothing. End of the third, two to nothing. End of the fourth, eighteen. Or 20 to nothing. They scored 18 <laughs> points in the fourth inning. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to try to find scoring some <laughs> Play by play in the in the fourth inning? <laughs> you should just see the stats. It's a, you know, it has scoring summary on Soonersports.com. And it says, OU first. Uh, uh, Allo, Homer to right field. Uh, two REI, one O, and then it says OU fourth, OU fourth, OU fourth, OU fourth. <laughs> Just <laughs> because they scored. Let's see, Allo single advanced to second on throw. Um, uh, Hanson singled to left. Coleman singled. Uh, Snow uh, reached by error by third base with an RBI. Uh, okay, they're up eight to nothing, and Johns homered. Um, with two two people on, Allo doubled to center field right after so, that. So at this point, she's three for three in the inning <laughs> with a homer and two singles. That's not bad. Uh, she doubled to center field. Boom, grounded out to second base, uh, but scored. You know, got a, a RBI. Snow homered to right field, <laughs> three run RBI. So that's three home runs in the inning. Yeah, so Mendez tripled, <laughs> and they had two people on for that. Um. Uh, and then Allo Allo hit three had three hits in the fourth inning. Rob, she had a single, a double, and another single, and she had one, two, three, four RBIs in the fourth inning. Who? Allo. Oh, hey, uh, and Jocelyn a Allo. How'd you do in the fourth inning? Oh, I had a uh, home run and um, uh, two singles, and <laughs> all in the fourth. Yeah. Hey, I just got a text from Sooner Lisa. Yeah. I'm here if you need help remembering any names. Oh, <laughs> she must be talking to Teresa. Says that we're over here. Uh, um, send her a picture. Ask her who that guy is in the middle of our picture. Is send her that picture and ask her who that is. Uh, who? Uh, oh, <laughs> yeah. Send her. Uh, what is going on with my phone? I don't know. I don't know either. All right. So here's the, yeah. here goes the picture of us with Bob Stoops. Yeah. And you know, say, yes, can you tell us who's in the middle of this picture? <laughs> oh, that's good, Terry. That is so good. I need, oops, space. I need help with, oh gosh, with the guy in the middle. Get some of that sooner, Lisa. <laughs> yeah, Get smarty britches with us. Let, let's see, let's see how she uh, responds here, real quick. Um, <laughs> uh, yes, that's that's a perfect uh, reply right there. <clears throat> uh, and Mr. Dan Donnelly sent something to us. Me and you both here. I'm trying to figure out what. 
figure out what that is. I'll have to look at it later. Yeah. Guys. You got to be careful <laughs> with what. <laughs> <laughs> I bet Mrs. The Tailgater doesn't know. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, okay. Let, I want This is the game uh, Saturday. Um, let's see. Uh, Tierra Jennings had, was two at bats, had one hit. Jocelyn Allo had five. Listen, if you're going to call her name, you got to get it right. It's T R A. Okay, whatever. Uh, I'm going to call Chris Plank on you. Okay. Uh, uh, Allo had five at bats, four hits, uh, six RBIs. Five, yeah. With six RBIs. What, what kind of batting average is that? I don't know, but it's ridiculous. <laughs> ridiculous. Grace Lyons uh, uh, went one for two. Uh, Zeta Puny, Puny. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, she didn't have a hit. She went zero for one. What? The uh, heck? Uh, Kinsey Hansen. She went one for three, but she, you know, she's a. Um. That's our catcher, I think. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, let's see, Grace Green. Um, she was zero for one. She went base, got a base on balls. So if they don't win the national title, Terry, is it is it a, like a huge upset? I think so. Because I, I honestly, you know, like in the years past, there's been really good teams. I don't know if anybody else is is that yeah. good this year. To be honest no. with you, Oklahoma had sixteen hits today. Sixteen hits. Oh, I thought you were going to say in the fourth inning. Well, that's about it. I mean, that's. <laughs> yeah, because they only played one more after that. <laughs> they didn't even play that one. I mean, Texas Tech came out and, you know, got. Uh, yeah, Texas Tech's not very good. 18 and 22. Well, they must have. They were, they were 18 and 18 coming into the weekend. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so they were 500. <laughs> yeah, they had to know. Right? <laughs> oh, jeez. You know, okay. when people come here to play the Sooners, isn't it like Citadel going to Bama? They're like, yeah. oh, boy. Yeah, why, why are we even <laughs> doing, are we doing this? <laughs> okay, number one thing I wanted to talk about, too. Uh, you know, we I brought it up yesterday watching the, um, uh, the spring game. DeMarco Murray is still a man. Oh, for sure he Good is. Good God. I'm telling you, if you put the cleats on right now, he'd be the starter. Uh, yeah. I mean, he, <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. I mean, he is just. <laughs> he's he's grown up. Yeah, he was standing out, you know, you could see him, you know, on the background. And I was like, good God, look at Murray. He's just standing over there, you know, looked like I do. Well, you know. <laughs> I mean, just barely fitting in his shirt. Exactly. Exactly. You know, his for all the right reasons, mine for all the wrong reasons. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But, man, he, dude, sheesh. I think that was CGI, Terry. No, oh, do you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure he doesn't need any CGI. Yeah. Um, I need some CGI. You know, but we've got, you know, he's, you know, and Lincoln's brought back some Sooners. You know, we got Joe John, which is a cool name. Yeah, it is. If What's your middle name? Buck Tussle. <laughs> what's your middle name joe john, joe john. <laughs> what's your middle name i'm not telling oh come on what's yours lee it's marie yours is marie no yours is marie no <laughs> <laughs> terry marie mine is lee i've told you about my name i think i've shared it on the podcast before you know that i'm still upset with my mom you know you gave me two unisex names <laughs> You know, <laughs> oh, what did, oh, gonna... did she send the finger? <laughs> <laughs> she's telling me I'm number one, Terry. Yeah, she's telling you you're number one. Huh. Oh, <laughs> that's so not very nice did, she, you, Lisa. did she know who it was? Did she answer who it was? Lisa, we need your help. We don't know who that is in that picture. <laughs> so I said, I sent her the picture of us and Bob Stoops. I said, I need to know who the guy in the middle is. And she goes, speaking of middle. <laughs> 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 so i take this to mean you don't know <laughs> is your middle name is it alan uh no albert it's francis it's a i know that what's your middle name <laughs> what is your middle name it's uh my middle name is rob my first <laughs> name is big <laughs> Big Rob. No. What is your middle name? 
<laughs> I don't know if I want to tell you. Why? I told you mine. <laughs> this is getting uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm trying to come up with you and, you know. Okay, it's Anthony. Anthony. So we could call you Robin. Yeah, Rob. No, that is no that's not good. Rob Tony. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Joe John Finley. That's a cool name, okay. Joe John. Joe John. Like you said, he, he you know, I don't, I, I don't remember where he's from. He's from Oklahoma, but yeah. I don't, uh, that is kind of a bug tussle name. You know, <laughs> but yeah, no, but I've told you, you know, my mom gave me two unisex names. You know, I can't go by, Lee, you know, and. Yeah, I don't know how many times I've gotten stuff in the mail. Right, and people can't tell just by looking at you. Yeah, <laughs> and what's funny is my whole, you know, I work in home care, which is prominent, you know, dominated by females, well. and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but people think, you know, Terry, when they call, you know, uh, you know, with the company and stuff or with another company, they call, you know, and ask to speak to me, and when I answer, this Terry... They're like, oh, 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 hi, Terry. <laughs> you can tell, they're like, whoa. <laughs> it's a guy. Yeah, but, you know, I had to tell my mom I didn't like my name when Caleb was born. She was like, why don't you name him Terry Lee and call him Junior? And I'm like, I'm not going to name him after me, Mom. Why not? And I was like, I don't like my name. You don't like Terry Lee? It's so pretty. That's the problem, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> that's why terry's tough his mom named him sue yeah basically you know I, I, ugh, she might as well have you know but uh, again mom my 83 year old mother you know put adele out on <laughs> on uh facebook a couple of weeks ago and it was something like remember uh remember back in the day uh when a boy named Sue uh, was t- uh, was tough, <laughs> well, naming your boy Sue made him tough. Oh yeah. yeah. Today it would just be you know that, that's my eighty three year old mom. You know, did she watch the spring game? Oh yeah, she she was like, <laughs> yeah, um, you know I talk you know I talk to her pretty much every Saturday morning. I call her, we have you know we have a conversation over coffee and until her uh, hired help shows up to cook them breakfast and all that but um i had to tell her she is on direct tv and i told her what channel and she goes she kept going (laughs) bally sports 675 at four o'clock and we're talking bally sports and i was like what she goes i gotta remember that terry i said i'll text it to you when we get off the phone (laughs) okay good (laughs) (laughs) i need to get her up here to go to a game so yeah, that'd make her day, wouldn't it? Yeah. I mean, you know, we sit in the, we already sit in the old folks section. And so. And you got plenty of room down there. Oh, yeah, we got plenty of room. So, yeah. need to uh, drag her up here. and. I, did I tell you I got a ticket? A season ticket? Oh, did you? Yep. yep. Buying one of Lori's. Buying one of Lori's. Yep. One of Lori's. How many does Lori have? Like 12. 12? <laughs> I'm not kidding you. She's got, <laughs> seriously, she's got eight. The good thing about sitting uh, next to Lori at the game is I will be able to do a 360 and not be blocked. By yeah, exactly. <laughs> my vision will I was going to say, you, you, <laughs> she's sitting in front of you, but you know. Yeah, she could be standing and I could still see over. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, she's, it'd be like a footstool too. You could prop your feet up, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There, there won't be any problem with vision, just 360. I, she, and she and we wonder why we don't have very many female fans. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, the truth is we love them both. We love. Yeah, them and so we do we need to Lori. clarify something to Tara. Tara was concerned that we said something, you know, because I told them that we we talked about folks. Oh yeah, some of our favorites. Tara yeah. on the podcast we did not release. We just said we always want you on our side, right? Whether it's a legal battle or, <laughs> or a fist fight. Fist fight. <laughs> <laughs> Tara, you're getting Joe's first. All right, yeah. come on over here. You're on Team Rob. Yep. So uh, and uh, you know Demo. We also talked about Demo. So just to bring up, you know, let people know, you know, Demo is one of our our buddies out there. We never said anything bad about him. You know, never, no, you know, in fact, we're looking forward to the barbecue. Yes. You know, and uh, we're going to have Demo on here before. Yeah, he's long. one of our favorites. Yeah, because he brought up a good point. We should try to do this. Did you see why um, um, Ozzy's diner closed? Uh, no. There was an article that the OU Daily put out, and Teresa knows the guy that owns it. And we we need to we need to start something. But. He didn't, during the pandemic, when it hit and they shut down, you know, the university shut down. Right. And that's part of, that, that's that's part, part of the university. university. Yep. 
Yep. So he couldn't open his business. Okay. His lease said that in case of natural disaster, blah, 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 for the period of time, you know, that he wouldn't have to pay, you know, rent. Mm. The university didn't abide by that. Five months into it, went, um, yeah, paid your rent in five months. We need your rent. Oh. The guy hadn't, I mean, he had been floating with money from the deal and he couldn't pay the back rent. Wow. So, the, you know. It's probably pretty steep. Yeah, so, you know, Dino was like, I loved all these people. Oh, you know, just going there on Saturday and Sundays, you know, early morning and standing. You would stand for an hour yeah, you would. to get breakfast, but it's all you can eat. Cook. Where else can you get all you can eat cooked to order breakfast? Um, there's several places. <laughs> no, they have buffets. Buffet, yeah, there's, they're buffets. But cooked to order, you can order you a big plate of everything. Yep. You know, eggs, bacon, mashed potatoes and gravy and mashed potatoes, biscuits and gravy. Um You're speaking my lingity, Terry. Um pancakes. Eat it all and hash browns and sausage and bacon. <laughs> eat it all and then they come back and go, Do you want more? What would you like? I would like some more eggs and some crispy bacon. And they go and they cook it again. <laughs> and it was like what? Five bucks for all you could eat. Oh, something like that. Yeah. It's definitely worth it. Yeah, it was five bucks for for breakfast, but it was like $32 for a cup of coffee. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you what, you know, after I had my surgery and I couldn't eat anything, yeah. I could drink their, just the broth off their stew, and it was, it was <laughs> enough, man. It was good. <laughs> yep. But um, now, because uh, Demo was talking to us about that, we ne- we may need to figure out something to, because Ozzy's is a, I mean, that place has been there forever. Yeah. You know, I've been, I've been in Norman since 88. 87 and it's been there so and i know it was there had to be yeah yeah in the 70s family-owned business come on oklahoma university do the right thing but anyway um you know because the university's hurting for money you know Mm -hmm. they got to get rent oh you can't say anything bad about the university can you It's funny how you're being employed by somebody keeps you from sh- talking bad about them, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Rob loves the University of Oklahoma. I do. Yeah. It's my alma mater. Yeah. And uh, I also work there, so no. we might want to just go ahead and change yeah, the subject. Change the subject. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, but... uh. You know, there's something like 104 days until Oklahoma straps on the pads for practice again. Yep. So. And who's our first game? Western Carolina or Western? Uh, no, uh, Tulane. Tulane, Tulane. That's Tulane. Yeah. Down in the bayou. Now, tell me, why are we playing Division Two team this year? I think we were supposed to play them. Um, I mean, typically we haven't really done. I mean, we've played some in the past, but I think we're, we're we were supposed to play them last year in the uh, pandemic. Yeah, that's it. But we had the re, you know we got to give them the return game. It's oh, I, I get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, we do have to play Oklahoma State every year, so that's about yeah, the same. Pretty much the same. And we're playing <laughs> Nebraska this year, which is you know, man, junior college football. Listen, they're going to come in and give us a game. <laughs> they are. I'm telling you, it's Nebraska, and it's Oklahoma. They're going to come in. I know they're bad, right? I know it. They're going to come in and give us a game. Bet you. Mm-hmm. Did, did, did uh, um, John Blake Sooners ever give Nebraska a game? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. Dude, I went, my first Nebraska game was during that time, and I went and Oklahoma just got annihilated. I got Tom Osborne's autograph, though. Uh, but I was sitting next to some uh, – nebraska fans they were cool i love nebraska oh fans. yeah they're awesome they're like man you know you'll be back you'll know you'll be back you know this is rough we know it's rough on you but it was just you know i never got a chance to go to a nebraska game until guess what my first one was uh 2000 2000 that would have been 99 though right yeah. yes yeah. 99 i didn't get hit by the pepper spray i smelled it <laughs> like i was in the you know 20 or 30 people yeah. vicinity of the pepper spray yeah Yep. And while those people well, were carrying well, that goal post. Were you down there jumping on the goal post nope. and stuff? No, I'm not dumb. What were you doing? Then I was why watching you, them. Why were you down there? I was on the field. Why were you down there? I was. Did you not know that it's illegal to be on the field? 
Okay, so I wasn't on the <laughs> field. No, I was on totally on the field. <laughs> but I wasn't part of that whole goalpost deal because, well, I just wasn't. But uh, it was pretty hilarious because the, the announcer, I don't know if you remember this or not, was like, you can't get that out of the stadium. Where are you going with it? Because they were like they, just going in zone, in zone. Yeah. You can't get it out of the <laughs> stadium. So just put it down. You know, somebody's going to get hurt. Oh, man, it was funny. And then, the, you know, when the cops got out there, then it was time to yeah, go. Yeah. Go, so. um, yeah. Yeah. There is something we, I, I do, you know, want to say, you know, we give them a hard time, but, you know, John Blake, we actually had two past Sooner coaches uh, pass this uh, this year. Oh, John yeah. Blake passed away uh, several months ago. Um, but, you know, Great player, great defensive coach. Just, you know, wasn't head coaching material. Uh, unfortunately, had the, you know, the stigma of maybe being the worst coach in a long time there. But, um, you know, uh, everybody that I know that played for him, that uh, played with him, you know, and that includes people with the Dallas Cowboys, you know, when he coached the defensive line down there, you know, great guy. Um, died suddenly, and if Barry Switzer says he's a great guy, he's a great guy. He wasn't the worst coach. The no. guy that came in after, after him, him who <laughs> also right. passed away, uh, Howard Schnellenberg, um, you know, passed away. But, you know, I, I, you, you got to think back, though, at that time. You know, it ushered in Bob, which is great. But you, me, and everybody else in Oklahoma, when they hired Helen, Howard Schnellenberger, we thought it was the resurgence of yeah, Oklahoma football. Yeah, we, we had high hopes. Yeah, I mean, it was like, oh, my gosh. Yeah, We yeah, got a coach hopes. now. Look out. Well, he had a pretty good track history. Yeah, you know. So. And, you know, I mean, it didn't fit. You know, he, he was in a time of changing times with how kids were, and he did stuff that was a little bit weird. But Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, he was like my high school and junior high coaches. You know, you, oh, don't, yeah. you don't drink water. Water makes that you weak. That was crazy. I was at that practice, oh, by the way. Yeah. I mean, but I mean, you know, just hard nose. You know, I mean, you, you've you seen the Junction Boys, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. They're a great movie about the terrible Texas A&M. You know, Bear Bryant, you know. There's guys out there dying on the field, you know. <laughs> Suck it up. <laughs> yeah. Yep. But, I mean, that – Again, that's how far we've come, and medically as well. Yeah, but you remember I mean, when they used to give us salt tablets? Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> here, chew on this. <laughs> oh, coach, I'm gonna vomit. No, but I, you know, I remember eighth grade, eighth and ninth grade football. I got a handful of ice at water break. A handful of ice, not even crushed ice. Okay, right. big giant chunk to, and that's all the water we got. Yeah, you remember this. Go ahead and get you a drink. One, two, that's enough. Yeah. Like, Wait, no. <laughs> yeah. There was no water bottles around. My And this is literally for now. My high school coach, Coach Wadsworth, I'm not going to say he was ahead of his time, but I think he was a little bit. We had water my, through high school. We There was water bottles out there. Now, if you're out on the field playing, but when you if, if you got subbed during, you know, the scrimmages and stuff, you could go over and get water, you know. Um we got to, you know, and he would tell you, you know, drink water, drink water. But, um, yeah, but back in those days, man, it was, you know, water makes you weak. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it does. It, <laughs> your body Lack needs it. Or water <laughs> makes you weak, bro. <laughs> or, or, or you're going to die. Mm-hmm. But in which, um, I was watching, uh, a deal t- the other night, Rob on, um, Netflix about this, um, Ronnie Coleman. The greatest bodybuilder ever. This uh-huh. dude is massive. Okay, looks like me. <laughs> but um, you know, it's talking. About he's in bad health now. He, he's got basically no disc in his back. From you know, I'm talking. Dude squatted 800 pounds. Oh my god. Okay, and uh, literally. Okay, and he still works out. His doctor says, yeah, he still works out. He goes, it's not good for him physically. But he goes, for his mental well-being, he needs to work out. That's hmm. just what he – he's still pretty big. But, um, you know, he's getting ready for a um, you know, bodybuilding championship, you know, and they dehydrate for those because it, you know – Defines it, their muscles. Yeah. And, you know, they don't they don't want that water on them. And uh, he, woke, he said he woke up one morning. He thought he was dying. And he said, there was something wrong with me. I passed out. He goes, I've never passed out in my life. And he said, I called my nutrition. It's like, something's wrong. I'm not going to be able to compete in this meet. And the guy goes, yeah, you are. Get you a gallon of water and start drinking it. 
He said, I drank that gallon of water. Man, I felt good. <laughs> <laughs> but it's kind of, I mean, it's a neat story. You should watch it. It's like, um, it's about bodybuilding and just showing the masses amount of weight. He changed how everybody looked at, and he worked in this, worked out in this dirty old gym, you know, that was a garage, but you start feeling sorry for him. And then you don't, because they're like, don't feel sorry for the guy because he loves his life. He's mm -hmm. got kids. He walks around on crutches now, but he's like the happiest guy he goes, I did this to me, but I was doing it, doing what I did it, doing what I love. I wouldn't, I wouldn't change anything, hmm. but they were talking about, he was squatting like 700 pounds and they heard a pop. Okay. And that was a, one of his discs exploding oh in his God. back. Okay. He, yeah, I just don't feel like that's very smart, Terry. No, but he didn't know it and it was hurting. It, it well, it started hurting the next day, you know, and it hurt a little bit, but he continued to do leg presses after he finished his workout, <laughs> went home. And then the next morning was like, my back is really hurting. You know, <laughs> dude, if I, you know, get pinched in my back, <laughs> much less blow out, a disc, blow out right? a disc to wow. where, where it's audible and people hear it. <laughs> but, um, anyway, um, but no, I mean, we, we were saying that we're going to, you know, keep the podcast going. We're going to start doing it every week again. We're going to start getting fans on. We got, we're lining out some, uh, you know, famous guests that are more famous than us, believe it or not. Um, some, you know, media folks and things like that. We're I don't like your on. tone, sir. <laughs> but, um, if you're a fan and especially those of you, you know, we're not that we don't want fans back on. We got a lot of fans that listen that haven't been on. And you listen to the podcast, you know, hey, whatever you want to talk about, the floor is yours. We'll talk about, you know. I'll, I'll tell you what the stories that we'd like to hear is how you became a Sooner fan yeah. and what's your greatest memory. You yeah, know? always, always those. those are always are, fun to listen yeah. to. Um, but, um, uh, you know, the, we will get more fans on. We're going to do it every week. Uh, and you know, unless the demand like it used to, you know, because we kind of pulled back, but you know, there was a while we were doing two and three a week because people want them. And if that's what people want, we'll do more if we have to. But right now we're going to start off with, uh, you know, one every week. And you the know. good thing about it, Terry is you don't have to wear a mask, <laughs> right? Because they're calling in on the phone. <laughs> or if you wear a mask or not. Or if you are in town, you can come to the podcast palace and sit here right in front of Rob, yep. you know, and you know, suffer you hold my through hand. that. Yeah, you can hold my hand if you want. <laughs> but uh and you know, male, female, kids, if you want your kids to come on. Uh they might get mauled by the uh podcast yeah, dog. Yeah, the, the rascal the podcast bulldog, but um it's just because he's happy to see everybody. But um no, nope, we're back. We're back to stay and we'll you know be doing this more often and uh um but you know looking forward to it. looking forward to, uh you know we're going to be football free for a while so well this is going to be a good year for us terry not not necessarily the podcast but it can't help but be good if we're undefeated and we win a national championship which i fully 100 percent believe that we are so that you know it's just going to be exciting yeah oh huh. I, i'm sorry i'm just looking at this still um did you know Oklahoma uh, football team, and I guess this is an NCAA deal for them, uh, they have super seniors? Super seniors. Yeah. Do you know what a super senior is? Uh, no. They were also a senior in 2020. They got uh, to come back, you know, because. I was just going to say a got, senior that wears a cape, but <laughs> I, I, I felt like that was wrong, so I didn't, you know, I didn't go ahead and. Yeah, but the, a super there. senior because that you got an extra year of eligibility, didn't we? Didn't everybody did, didn't they? Yeah, everybody yeah. did. So. Um, yeah, in fact, I think the entire softball team can come back next year. <laughs> yeah, that's what the world wants. Isn't be it? crazy, <laughs> right? <laughs> Remember, we talked about it on the phone that didn't come out, but um, our softball team beat the Mexico national team, and they are th the number third ranked team in the world. Yeah. And they didn't just beat them. Soundly gave them yeah, a pretty good win. They spanked them. So. And then we go down and lose to Georgia. Yeah. But you know what? Any given day, that's why they yep. say that. Any yep. given day, you can be beat by somebody. But, I mean, you know, then they turned around five minutes after that game and run rural yeah, Georgia. Run rural. So, yeah, with malice. Yeah, <laughs> with malice in their heart <laughs> and bad intent. So, uh, anything else, to, Rob? I hate to bring this up. Like I said, any given day, you know, mm -hmm. some team. Can, but you remember when Kansas beat Texas? <laughs> 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 sorry, sorry. Yeah. I had to it'll that. probably happen again soon. Yeah. 
Um, and which that's something we got to talk about. All the you know, um, our good buddy up there at Kansas is gone. Um, Jason? No, the 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 coach. Uh, oh, uh, Les Miles. Yeah, Les Miles. Les Miles got the boot. Yeah, <laughs> and we'll talk about that as a uh, yeah. Uh, through the off season but that's it guys that's the podcast thanks for listening go and make sure and hit and subscribe and follow us on twitter and facebook and and uh jump into rob's dms anytime <laughs> boomer up <laughs> soon terry